It's been four days already. I hope that Polka and the others are okay. Ah, oh, Polka and the others, huh? Not Beat and the others? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm sure they're doing just fine. Look at us. We're managing. Look, Arco's saying cheer up, too. Oh, hey, Jazz, by the way, what's the name of that river we fell into back there? Fusion River. It carries rainfall from Mount Rock down to the Blue Sea. The rich earth from Mount Rock flows down with the water, so crops tend to grow very well in the nearby regions of the river. No, that was in the past. Ever since Walt started mining Mount Rock, things have changed a lot around this area. A lifetime to build, but it only takes a moment to destroy. You know, human beings really are masters of destruction. Everything we do has some effect on the environment. And ultimately, that ends up affecting human society as well. That's very true. There should be a small inn past this swamp, but once we make it there, the rest of the way shouldn't be a problem. We'll need to be up early tomorrow. worn out. That's the inn we told you about. We've only ever been here once before, and that was quite a long time ago. I'm glad to see it's still here. Hey, it's already pretty late. Let's just stay here for the night. Good idea. We'll set out again tomorrow morning. But for tonight, let's get some rest. My lord, the Kabasa Bridge has fallen. It appears Tuba fell to his death along with the others. Ugh, that useless fool. He wasn't satisfied taking his own life. He had to kill the guardian of a Gogo forest, too. What shall we do, my lord? Oh well, all we need to do is find the glowing Agogos. This just proves how worthless Tuba really was. I feel more sorry for the bridge. After all, it had to support that behemoth's weight. Tino's fearless leader's been hiding. Viola, sometimes the cool night air is just the thing I need to get my thoughts in order. To think, all that time I was happily looking after my goats, you were making plans and doing things to change the world. I'm ashamed I didn't act as soon as I knew something was wrong. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You took good care of Arco and your herd. And you managed to do it all on your own. The kindness and protection you show towards the things that are important to you. Huh. We're the ones who could learn something from you. <laughs> Stop it. You're going to make me blush.
Oh, are you out for some air too, Allegretto? This area gets kind of cool at night, so it's nice. What's bothering you, Allegretto? I know what it is. I bet you're thinking about polka, right? What's the matter? I've been thinking about this for a while now. The people that attacked us, I get the feeling they thought we were part of Andantino. Huh? I see the whole group has arrived. Hey, he looks like someone in authority around here. You're right, he does. Let's go ask him if he can get us an audience with Count Bolts. Hold it. We already know all about your plan. Let's keep this very simple. Don't resist us, and none of you will get hurt. You have a point. No matter what they might say about Count Waltz, even he wouldn't give orders to kill ordinary citizens who are just coming to visit him. Exactly. That guy sounded like he knew that someone was supposed to be showing up at that time, and he was waiting for them. Jazz, it sounds like you might have an information leak. What? Yeah, it's possible you've got a spy working in your group. But Claves and Falsetto are the only ones who knew about that mission. That would mean. We'll reach the town of Andante just after these woods. We're finally back home. It's right under your feet. It's on your ground? Yes. Though it's not that impressive. But it's more than enough for us to live comfortably. After all, we are a rebel army. We're supposed to be underground, right? <laughs> this is Andantino's headquarters. Everyone here is one of us. Please make yourselves at home. All set up. Would you mind showing our guests around the town? No problem. Okay, we'll go on ahead. When you get tired of sightseeing, come and join us. Where are you going? 
to the house we've been using as a base. It's right on the shore of Lake Reaper. Basically, it's our hideout. It's a short walk from here. Later. Well, let's get going. You know, we did kind of just barge in here all of a sudden. Now that I think about it, it may just have been protecting the graveyard against intruders. Well, I feel kind of bad about that then. Don't worry. The Spring Guardian is a spirit, so even if it's gone temporarily, it'll go back to normal soon. Come on. Let's get the simile water and start heading back. What is it, Jazz? It seems like you have something on your mind. Plavis, what do you think of falsetto? Huh? What do you mean? We have an information leak on our hands. There's a spy within our ranks, and I think that it may very well be Falsetto. What? You don't think she's been acting strange lately? She's being oddly combative. Especially toward you. Think about it. She never used to be like that. Well, it could be that Falsetto is just jealous of us. I sincerely hope that's all it is. Even so, there is definitely something she's hiding from me. I've known her since childhood, so we can tell almost everything about each other. Everything. Hold on. If there's a spy among us, wouldn't the guards have been watching the dungeon? Remember, our plan was to infiltrate the dungeon directly through the secret passage. Yes, that is true. It must have been a coincidence. I can't believe Falsetto is a spy. <laughs> 